gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to, 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 only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra. And if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want the extra juicy tea, go ahead and click that link down in my description below. An extra super juicy story time should be posted. If not already, will be posted very soon after y'all see this. Okay, so before we get into this story time, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Y'all be showing out and showing me love. I love y'all down. Period. We'll tribe over here. We'll family. And I love y'all so much. We almost at 10K subscribers. We almost at 1 million views. And I feel like we're going to hit the 1 million views before the 10K subscribers. But that's cool. We're going to celebrate each one because you know what? In this life, how short it is, you got to celebrate all your wins, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter what anyone else thinks. If it's a win to you, it's a win and you better celebrate it. Period. All right, y'all. So I don't know which one y'all getting first, the vlog or the story time, but I asked y'all if y'all wanted the story time of me and my besties weekend. And y'all was like, girl, damn, y'all went crazy in the comments. I was like, I just needed five yeses. And I think I got like 30 yeses. So I'm like, okay, period. Which y'all asked for, y'all shall receive. So I was going to do like a visual blog story time but in some of the videos like me and my besties talking and stuff like that so i didn't want to like cut all that out so i'm gonna do the vlog and then the story time i don't know which one is being posted first but shit i drop them at the same time or like back to back so yeah okay so day one we go out because we went out saturday and Sunday and a blast a time was had so much happened in so little time okay so Saturday um my bestie had hit me up she was like bestie what you doing I miss you I'm like bestie I miss you too we need to link up you know how it is when you and your friend busy and y'all schedules just don't align it's just like so hard for y'all to like get on the same accord and link up so that's what had been going on with me and my bestie so finally we was just like look we're gonna hang out like me and her get to that point where it's like okay we're gonna hunt each other down if we don't hang out so that saturday y'all i was on live for like seven hours if y'all didn't see that live and y'all bored and need something to watch go watch that live i promise you it's lit it's fun and I had a really good time with y'all on that live because obviously I was on the live for seven hours. So I had to been entertained. Y'all had to been entertained. We was all entertaining each other. So on that live, y'all, we did a try on haul and we picked my outfit for Saturday, which I loved. I looked this so cute, like a Barbie. And it's so crazy, y'all. In high school, I used to love pink. I used to literally wear pink like every day. You couldn't catch me without nothing pink on or Hello Kitty. I had these Hello Kitty watches. And if I wasn't wearing pink, I had them Hello Kitty watches on. And they was pink and purple. So I always stay with pink on. I'm telling y'all, like my, my junior year, like my sophomore year to my senior year, y'all, I literally wear pink almost every day. Like it was my color. Me and pink, we we here. Y'all know me. I'm never on time. My bestie never on time. So after I had got off the live, y'all, I had jumped in the shower. And when I jumped in the shower, I didn't tie my wig down how I usually tie it down when I get in the shower. Usually how I tie my wig down when I get in the shower is I put my wig band on and then I put um like a hair, like a, a scarf over it or like a large bonnet and then put it in a, um, a long shower cap. This time I didn't do that. I just put the scarf on in the shower cap. So when I got in the shower, and I took me a steaming hot shower and I got out y'all my, my wig slipped back 
my wig has slipped back so i had to take my whole wig off mind you at this point it's like eight o'clock because i think i got off the live at like seven o'clock so it's like eight o'clock i'm getting out the shower my bestie was still like wrapping things up at work and i think she was gonna be on her way soon so i'm out the shower wig didn't slip back and then I tried to just like fix it, but it just was not working out. So y'all had to take the whole wig off, take the whole ball cap off, do it again. I had to do it two times. The first time I did it, um, the stocking was cool, but then I accidentally cut too much. And you know, when you cut too much, when you lay your stocking down, it just start, it, it just messed it up. So I have to do that two times. I'm frustrated because I'm like, dang, I wanted to get dressed and finish early so then I can go back on live with y'all or like make some cute little videos before I linked up with my bestie. But because I had to do my wig all the way over, you know, like reinstall it two times because it was just a hot mess. So by the time like nine o'clock come, I think I was like, I had got frustrated. So I stopped. So then my... So then that's when I was doing it the second time because I had to take a break because I was just like irritated. Like, like, let me eat and then come back and try this again because this is going to irritate my spirit because why my wig ain't laying how I want it to be laying and it got to be laying how I want it to be laying like period. So by like nine o'clock, my bestie was like, OK, I'm on my way home. I'm going to go home, jump in the shower and just throw something cute on real quick. So anyways, me and my bestie, we be on nigga time. It's highly rare for us to be on time to anything, like literally. Finally, I'm ready. She ready. I hop in my car. I'm taking like, I had to go get some gas, y'all, because I was about to be walking, y'all. I started driving and I started feeling my car slowing down. Good thing I was right there by the gas station. I pulled into the gas station just in time, y'all. I had to get some gas. It was like a bunch of dudes at the gas station trying to holler at me. And I'm just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Even though I was looking good, but I'm like, I'm on a time crunch. I didn't even fill my tank up all the way like I usually do. I put half a tank up in there, jumped in the car, and then dashed onto my bestie. So... I get to my bestie's house and she not ready. Oh, I know she wasn't ready. Cause when she says she ready, she ain't ready. So, cause y'all, I didn't even get to put on my nails because I was rushing. I was just like, forget the nails, we outside. So anyways, I get to my bestie house, she not ready. So I go inside. And as y'all can see in the vlog, y'all probably, I'll probably post the vlog first. I don't know which everyone y'all seen first, but y'all seen the vlog. Uh, for one, as I was walking, as I got to my bestie's house, there was no parking in front of her house. So I had to park all the way down this dark ass street where all kind of weirdos be. And then I had to walk down. So I'm walking down, like taking a little video thinking I'm just that girl. Cause I am period. Who going to tell me something different? Uh, -huh. and y'all, well, I'm not even paying attention. It's like a the the concrete all uneven y'all i almost didn't trip broke my damn neck and everything so i'm like okay let me pay attention it's dark anyway on this road let me flash my light for some raccoon run up on me over here because downtown pittsburgh them raccoons they they will run you down so i'm like let me let me pay attention to what i'm doing so anyways i get into my bestie's house and she's looking so cute she putting her little finished last touches on to um you know doing her hair and her lipstick or whatever so i'm just like oh my god bestie you look good i miss you we just chitter chatting i'm talking to her mom talking to her sister and stuff so finally y'all we're done in her house we hop in her car because she was like bestie i'm driving i said period this I love my bestie down because y'all I'm usually the driver it's so funny like when we became adults and we first started going out like my bestie was the driver and then when we met uh Miss Burgundy she was the driver so it would either be Miss Burgundy or my bestie driving because y'all I was a scary driver but then after a while it, when I got my <laughs> my bars up I like it to drive. When I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. We in my car, you need to roll out with me or you find your own way home. And I tell people like, if you're not on my timing, do not get in my car because some days I want to leave early. Some days I want to stay out until I hear the goddamn birds chirping. So if you ain't on my time, don't be on my time. Don't, don't jump in my car. You better have you some Uber money, okay? So that you can figure how whatever you doing out. 
So yeah, so I'm excited. I'm like, oh, I get to be passenger princess and take your videos and just be cute in the car. So we get in the car, Bestie got to roll up because y'all know she, she blow down the house or whatever. And she had a little bottle up in there. So we taking shots. I have went live, which y'all should see all that in the vlog. And I said I wasn't going to call her that. It's too late. So somebody called her. I had to put the live on mute or whatever. <laughs> you, and I had to, uh, could be giving all her tea out. Anyways, so yeah. So I'm on the live. I'm looking cute. She on the phone. She get off the live. And we on the live for a little bit. And then I'm like, all right, let me get off the live. So me and my bestie can ride and talk and vibe and listen to music. So y'all, I don't know. Somehow or another, I picked up her ashtray in her car i don't know why and then i started taking shots and stuff and then i don't know how but i dropped it on her floor and i feel so bad but i did clean it off her seat but i did drop it oopsie <laughs> so anyways we pull off mind you y'all it's like 10 11 o'clock we wasn't gonna get to the club till like 11 12 but the club be going to like two anyway so we was like it's cool we can go be there for an hour we was going to this club and um in the city which is san francisco and uh this club called providence now this club providence it'd be like ghetto ratchet fun but like cool so we was gonna go there because we wanted to have one of them ghetto ratchet nights you feel me like we trying to turn up be drunk and <laughs> be outside so we in the car we cruising i got plenty of videos of us in the car we talking we just chopping it up we just having a good time i just love being around my bestie like i swear to god like that's like my yin yang like period so we finally get to the city and y'all the city parking is just ridiculous so we're looking for parking finally we have found some parking and then we get out the car we're looking cute we're walking up to the club and it's just like people outside dudes trying to holler or whatever telling us we look cute we like period you already know what's up we the baddest bitch so we walk up to the club and we standing in the line and we see some other people standing in the line so i'm like okay we like okay cool they still letting people in at these clubs out here y'all they will let you in up to like 30 minutes before that club closed they're gonna get their coins they don't care so we uh, we at first we like con contemplating it like ooh, is they gonna let us in they're not gonna let us in but i'm like they should let us in like i don't know like we just gonna try it and see so y'all as we standing in the line now one thing i'm gonna say about it like them city asian girls like the girls the asian girls from the city they some like cute gangsters okay like they be so itty bitty and so cute but they be just so gangster they just be so wild so as we standing there like it's a, a group of girls and they just conversing or whatever and then we standing in line and some people in front of us and the security it's just like a bunch of little other stuff going on so next thing we know some like little asian girl she like come about the club and she just rah 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 at the mouth like yeah, because I got the strap on me. And if niggas got something to say, ah, 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 I didn't call him dancing with another female. Just going off at the mouth like she called her man dancing with another female. She was ready to pew, pew, pew the club up. Like, wh like what we saying? Mind you, this girl like this goddamn big. Where is you hiding the pew, pew? Because you don't have a purse. Babe, like how did you even get in with this? I'm so confused. So she like rah rah and outside and the security like trying to figure out like what's going on. Yeah. So I don't know where the girl went because we couldn't see her. Like she had either walked back in the club or walked off to another side. We couldn't see her. So we still standing there seeing if like we gonna get in because they had let um some of the people that was in front of us in. So we just trying to you know contemplate like shoot is they gonna let us in and not and the girls doing this rah rah. So, like, five minutes have passed. Next thing we know, they fighting, duking it out. Boom, 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 boom. Some dudes, some girls, they just fighting at the entrance. It's just going down. So, me and my bestie, like, oh, it's time to go. Like, you feel me? What to go about it? Get the fighting in the club in the bay. Like, it's time to skedaddle. You don't know what's going to happen next. Like, you know? So they squabbing or whatever. And me and my bestie, we just start walking away because we just like, mm-mm, like, mm-mm. And like, we know better now. Younger us would have been like all up in it, like, what's going on? Older us know, like, P 
people get pew pew every day because they want to be nosy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So we like walking off and I'm just like taking cute videos and she's just like, dang, like you think we're going to be able to get in? And I'm just like, I don't know, bestie, but all I know is... I don't want to be nowhere where nobody got no strap and they mad and they drunk. Them is just not good combination. And these city females, they just, they just hella many. So we walk in, we go sit down on like this little brick wall and we just talk. So my bestie was like, mind you, they was fighting for like a good minute. As we walked off, sat down, we sit in there in the video. They still in the background fighting and stuff. So she just like, I don't know if they're going to let us in, bestie, with all that rah-rah. But if you want, we can try. We can walk all the way around the block and then come back and then see. And I'm just like, I don't know, bestie. Mind you, my bestie, <coughs> she had on some heel boots, like some little heel boots. Because um, where she got ready at, she didn't have like all her stuff. So I'm just like, nah, bestie, I don't want you to have to be doing all that walking with the kind of shoes you got on or whatever. So we just like, man, forget it then. Like, let's just walk around, see if we can supply some bars and just do a little bar hopping. So that's what we did. We had went into this bar. We had got some drinks. We had seen these people and they was just complimenting us, telling we were so cute. We had made um, some people and they was just talking to us. So we just in a bar. We just having a vibe, talking, having drinks, having a good time. We go into another bar. We having drinks and just the same thing. So we was just like, you know what? Let's just wrap it up here. Let's go get something to eat, vibe out and chill. And then tomorrow we'll try it again. Like, let's just try it again. Like, you know, we, me and my bestie, we still had like a really good time hanging out with each other, vibing and talking and stuff. So we didn't count it as no walls. Like we was cool. So we had went to, uh, where did we go? Denny's or IHOP. We had got some food, y'all. We was just chilling, talking, vibing, having a good time. Like I can never not have a good time with my bestie. So, y'all, um, Bestie go get in her car. Like, I had paid for the dinner and uh, because she drove. And I was just like, you know, we drove all the way to the city on a burnt mission because I said, let's go to this club or whatever. So, I got us. I paid for our, um, our well, not dinner because it was like 1 a.m. at this point. So, I paid for our food. Bestie go get in the car. I had went in the bathroom, y'all. Why when I came back from the bathroom, Bestie is in the car, knocked out. I think she was asleep at the table, too. Like, Bestie was knocked out. She was tired. So I'm just like, all right, let's get to the house, get some sleep. We had planned to go to brunch with one of her friends, and then we was going to try to hit up, like, a little day party or something after. So we get to the house, Bestie uh, park. I get out. I jump in my car. I mobbed home. I came home. I filmed part three of the Cray Cray series. Then I went to sleep for a couple hours, bounced up. We got ready to go to brunch. Her friend Flake, but I'm just like, well, let us, th we can still go. We don't need it. Yo, friend, her friend was the one who invited her to brunch in this particular spot in Danville. So I'm just like, girl, we don't need her. We Let's still go. So she like, yeah, all right, cool. So I'm getting ready and I pull up to Bestie house. And Bestie told me she was ready, but I had was already on my way before Bestie even told me she was ready. I'm like, let me just be there already because I was ready already. So, yeah, I pull up. Of course, Bestie is not ready. So I'm just in the car. I think I go live. I'm talking to Bestie's sister. I'm talking to Bestie's sister's dad, her mom. I'm just chopping it up with them. Then my family. They didn't even know it was me at first when I pulled up because my my tent ain't too dark, but you can't really see in the car though, like unless you like really walk up on them. So they like looking at me because I pull up slapping you. It'll be like, ah, what is it? So uh, bestie sister dad like looking like who is pulling up like slapping her music just parked in front of our house. They didn't know if I was a dude or a woman at the time. So finally, I'm like, Bestie, take it so long. I humped the horn. And then that's when they was like, you feel me? I guess Bestie must have had told them, like, that is Shayla in the car. Because her uh, stepdad was looking at me. Manny, like, hold on. Like, because he drive an old school car. And I'm like, all up on it. So he looking like, wait a minute. Like, who the hell is this? Like, uh-uh. So 
I'm, like I said, I'm chopping it up with all of them. Waiting for Bestie to come out. I'm on live. All that gonna be in the video. The vlog. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like, I think my throat going out. And I hope not because it's Memorial. I mean, it's Labor Day weekend and baby, I'm outside this weekend. Y'all gonna get another vlog. Because, <laughs> yes, outside been calling my name. So, yeah. um, Finally, Bestie come out. She hop in the car and I'm like vlogging. We listening to music. We riding. Y'all, it's so funny and I swear on everything I love. Me and my bestie did not plan to match. We did not plan to wear white and orange. I promise. We did not plan to match like that. I promise you. It just happened. I swear to you guys. I, I'm going to put some pictures up just so y'all can see. We did not plan to match. It'd be a lot of times where my best, me and my bestie, we we don't plan to match, but we'll be like, oh, I'm wearing this color, I'm wearing this, you know, and then we end up matching because we kind of like bounced off ideas with each other what we gonna wear. But I promise y'all, this specific time we did not, and we showed up like low key matching. I was just like, oh god, my bestie looks so good. I'm like, love my bestie period so yeah anyways we in a car we vibe man we get to the place it's a cute little spot in danville it's just so cute we sat outside we had got this um cotton candy mimosa tower thing where it's cotton candy in the cup and then you pour the like um the wine over it the like sparkling wine over it mine's was the best i had got watermelon she got strawberry and then we got like an extra one which was the blue one and she didn't really like hers the strawberry one the watermelon was smacked the watermelon one was smacking it and usually i do not like certain watermelon drinks but the watermelon one was so good it was the white one it was so good and then we had got like country steak or whatever I didn't get no pictures. I don't know if I got pictures of our food. Maybe. But we had got like this country steak and potatoes and stuff. Y'all, the food, the drinks, everything was just A1. We're having such like a good time at brunch, looking cute, vibing, eating our food, having drinks. Like we tipsy in a mug. So we just like, at this point, we like debating like, because what we had on was just like super dressy up. I mean, as we was walking up and everything, everybody was already looking at us like, they dress like we was like super girly dress so we just like dang is we gonna want to go to like a day party in this and i'm just like well you know bestie i ain't tripping i don't care but i had on like a mini skirt and she had on like a short dress so we just like oh no i'm like well bestie if we go out and get like real lit we try to dance like i don't know she like yeah bestie i think we should go back to the house and change but at first, she she didn't want to because she was like, dang, I don't want you to have to drive all the way back to your house. And then we drive all the way to Oakland. I'm like, girl, I don't care. We're outside, period. So I drive Bethy back to her house after we um, finish eating and everything. And she gets dressed at her house. I wait for her. Then we ride to my house. And then I, I'm trying to find something to wear. And that's when I end up finding uh, the outfit I wanted to wear, which is the pink shorts with that cute little white top. That outfit ate down. Oh, that was so cute i looked so cute and everything y'all as i'm like getting ready and looking for my outfit my bestie is sleep and she sleeps just so cute like she just like this just like that i'm like look at my bestie i let her sleep too i was done getting ready i was like let me give her an extra little 10 15 minutes we not in a rush we on good time and i know my bestie she's a massage therapist so she work with her hands a lot she be at the boxing gym like three damn times a day on top of work and stuff so i'm like i know my bestie be tired or whatever so let me let her get her little nap in so finally i wake her up and i'm like you ready bestie she's like yeah cool so we ski skirt up out of there and we head into this day party now. Usually this day party lit, but we get there y'all and it's like rise the desert. So we get there, we get inside and they have like food and stuff. We get like some watermelon. They had like tables though. You can sit down, you can get hookah if you want. We just sat down, ate our watermelon or whatever. And it's like people there, but it's not like packed or whatever. So it's like some group of girls like way at the other side y'all. And they like just kept looking at us and like, I don't know what their problem was. Like, I don't know if it's cause like how me and my bestie was dressed down to the T looking fire as hell. Cause we, you know, we did an out it tank. It, it ain't so yeah so 
I'm like, all right, it's like like low key little dry here. I'm like, well, you know, bestie, we can find like other stuff to do, like some bars or whatever. It was this other day party that we should have had went to, but I didn't even see it till it was too late. So we go in the bathroom, my bestie go in the bathroom first and I'm just standing there taking some like cute little videos and pictures or whatever. She come out, I go in. So when I go in, I'm taking like little dance videos and stuff in the bathroom, I come out and bestie is like holding the other door, like the men's door. And I'm just like, bestie, what you doing? She was just like, oh, some girl uh, asked me if I could like, you know, stand here by the door just in case no dudes try to like come walk in or anything cause it is a man's bathroom. And I was just like, oh, okay. So yeah, we came out and then we was just like sitting there chilling, vibing. I went live and for some reason, Instagram took down the live. So I don't even have that live, but we looked at so cute. I do got like pictures and stuff of us from when we was at that little, little dry ass day party. But y'all, it was this dude sitting behind us, y'all. He was so fan. Well, oh, he was so fan, y'all. I didn't even, we didn't even notice him until like we was leaving. We was just like, let's go see if we can find like because like where we was it was just like a bunch of like little day parties and clubs going on like everything in like five minutes proximity or whatever mind you when we got there we got the park like right up on the club like we was we wasn't we was like right on the side of the club so yeah as we walking out and we we look i'm like damn that boy fine he was talking to some girls though but um they was like oh y'all cute where y'all about to go and we was just like oh we about to try to go head over to uh where did we go hello stranger it was like we about to go over to hello stranger or something like that and you know see if we could get in so they're like oh, okay we might see y'all over there so we just like oh, okay well if we see y'all we see y'all we don't we don't know y'all anyway so y'all we go get in the car and why is a car parked behind me this damn close to my goddamn car? Like, I'm, it's a car in front of me and a car in back of me. Now, the car that was in front of me was not there when I originally parked because I gave some distance between me and that car just so if a car did park behind me, I had enough room to... <laughs> You feel me? Get out. But the car that parked in front of me was a Jeep. It was a bigger car. It parked hella close to me. And then the car behind me parked hella close to me. So I'm like mad as hell. I'm like, bro, we stuck here. Like, I know you freaking lying. Like, why would they park this clock down close to my car and box us in like this? So Bestie, she like, uh-uh, like, let me see if you can, ah, 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 and like, we can get up out of here. So Bestie get out the car and she was like, Bestie, I think you got them bars and I think you can get out of here. Like, you you just got to follow my directions. So I'm like, all right, yeah. Because I'm just like, nah, like, we need to get up. My job, be, my job, before we, like, drove off, y'all, we sitting in the car. And some dude came up to the car, right? And at first, he was trying to, like, pop his stuff at my bestie or whatever, trying to get at her. And bestie was like, no, mind you, this dude had, like, missing teeth. He looked dirty. He looked that He really low-key looked like fake homeless or whatever, but... I don't know. Like, he trying to pop his stuff at my bestie, and she's like, mm, no. So then, he like, why your friend over there just not paying us no mind? Because I'm in the mirror, and I'm, like, just fixing myself, just, like, you feel me? Like, mad that I'm stuck in this, you feel me? In this spot, like, we gonna have to wait till one of these people come with their car. Like, I'm mad. Like, I'm ready to go to the next function. I want to be lit. I want to shake some ass. I'm ready to throw this ass. Period. I got on my booty shaking shorts. Like, I don't want to be stuck here. So, I don't know why, but then he come to my side of the window, y'all. He talking to me, breath all funky, teeth all missing. I'm like, no, sorry, Bob. That's not my job. I don't do that. Boy, bye. Get up out of my face. I don't know why some people be... It's like, look at you and look at me. I'm looking like a goddamn Barbie. And you looking like a homeless bum. What makes you think... I'm going to talk to you. And it's no tea, no shade. But it just be like, sir, you know I'm out your league. You knew my bestie was out your league. You know I'm out your league. And how you going to try to talk to my bestie? She curve you and then you going to try to come talk to me? I'm nobody's rebound, Buki. Er, skirt. Keep it, keep it going. I'm not one of them. I'm not that desperate. I get Snickers. Okay? <laughs> no. So, y'all, he, like, not trying to leave the car. And, y'all, I start, like, because at first I let down the window because I'm just, like, listening to him talk because I'm just, like, window up. 
I kept just pressing the button like mm, window up a little bit more, inching it up, inching it up, inching it up, inching it. Cause sir, get the f oh like ski daddle. So yeah, boom. That's when Bestie got out. She got it me, and I. <sighs> Got her on up out of there. Okay, I'm telling y'all, it was like an impossible thing, but Bestie gave me them directions. I had them bars, you feel me? We got her out of there. So boom, we head over to the next spot. We looking for parking, ain't no parking. We see that club or whatever. We like, okay, like it looked popping, but it was a day party. But I wasn't sure if it turned into a night party because some day parties don't turn into a night party. But some day parties out here, they do turn into a night party. Like it just go from day to night. Like they just be open all goddamn day. So I'm just like, I don't know. So like we sit in the car, Bestie rolling up or whatever. I hit a couple times. We blowing out the house, taking some shots, taking some drinks. We getting lit. We just chilling in the car because I was like, well, I see they the day party we was going to go to. We kind of missed it because it took us so long to get out the damn parking spot. The dude was talking our ear off. I'm like, well, I do see they have like a little night thing that's going to go on still. So we can just chill for a little minute and then we can like walk up over there. Because y'all, when we was first going to get up out the car, it was windy as hell. So you know how you feel that little brisk we got right there <laughs> let's do wait a little minute let's let take a couple of more shy a little more dry a little bit let's let get a little more, more titsy get the little body warmed up because it's a little brisky and when we park we was gonna have to walk like not long but like five minutes but when you got on a little clothes five minutes in the code <laughs> seems like 30 minutes period so yeah we just sit in the car we chilling one of our friends called up and was like, I'm about to slide on y'all so we can turn up. I ain't seen y'all in a minute. We're like, cool. So finally we get out the car and we get in and it's lit in that one. It's lit in that thing. So we get in there. We get some drinks, uh, we, we we dancing, we turning up, we just feeling ourselves, having a good time. Our friend popped up, it, it ain't. so we just vibing with him, we all chilling, dan dancing, having drinks or whatever. It's like a vibe, it's like lit in there, like we're having like a ball, like we're hella dancing and stuff. And just having so much fun, I haven't had like that kind of fun like that on that kind of level with my bestie in like a long, long time. Like we just outside, just like riding around, going place to place, drinking, blowing down the house, just having a vibe. And then our friend that met up with us, like I ain't kicked it with him and seen him a heck along. So it was just like such a good vibe with us three, like we we're having a good time. Time. so as we in the club we you know time had passed or whatever I, like i'm loaded or whatever we standing there vibing dancing next thing i know i just hear somebody like shayla 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 i'm so on y'all i'm not even realizing that shayla's my name i'm thinking like oh there must be another shayla in here because I ain't seen nobody in here that I know. The only people that I seen in here that I know, I'm with them. Mina and friend. <laughs> like, who calling me? And it's not Mina or friend. So, y'all, I, I'm like, it's, it must be another Shayla in here. Like, can't be me. Cause I don't know that voice. I don't know nobody up in here. You feel me? I don't, <laughs> I'm getting the, you feel me? So next thing I know, like the person that's calling me is standing right smack dead in front of me. He like, Shayla, so you don't know me? So you don't know me? You gonna act fake like that? You don't know me? Y'all, and at first I didn't even recognize who it was because this particular person I ain't seen or talked to since like 2018, 2019. So I'm just like, at first I thought it was this other boy at first. So he like, you don't know who I am? You don't remember me? Wow. And I'm like, do your name start with a P? Because I thought it was this one boy named Pat. And he was like, no, a L. And I'm like, I don't know, like, <laughs> you don't look familiar, you feel like, I don't know who you are, sir, I don't know who that man is. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. So, he tell me his name, and then he tell me how we know each other, and I'm like, oh, oh shit oh my god like damn it's been a minute like since we talked or whatever like me and him didn't like leave off on cool vibe like we talked i really like 
fuck with him heavy, but I don't know. We just kind of, you know how you just drift apart from people. So I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. So I hug him. Mind you, he got a section with some other. So where we were standing at, like club and partying, they section was literally right behind us. I didn't know that because I wasn't paying attention to who these people was. We just like vibing out right there or whatever. So yeah, I was just like, oh, snap, that's crazy. That's crazy. Woo -woo. So at some point, I don't know why we walked off. I think we had went to the bar to get some more drinks. And now me, my bestie and our friend, we just standing up against this wall and it's like a big mirror. So I'm just looking at myself in a mirror or whatever. And this dude is like staring me down, looking in this mirror. And I'm just like, damn, he was like, damn, like you, we see you, we see you, you look good. You look good. Like how many times you gotta look in the mirror? And I'm like, as much as I want, like they put this big mirror all up in the club. Like why wouldn't I look at myself? I don't know why, but I love looking at myself in blue and red light. Like, I don't know what it is. That blue light be having me looking like Beyonce. Stop playing and be having me feeling like I'm in belly and shit. Like who playing with me, you know, in belly in the club with the blue light, you feel me? So yeah. So yeah, as we uh, standing right there though, me and Bestie, we just dancing, doing a little one too. And then some dude was like dancing with this girl, y'all. Why he tried to grab my drink? It's like the dude like dancing with the girl, working the girl, and he grabs my drink. Mind you, y'all, I'm not even paying attention that the dude grabbed my drink. Bestie was paying attention. So she like, um, no, bro, why the hell they started tug of war from the drink? She's like, no, this is my friend drink. And he's trying to play it off like he dancing, like he don't know he got my drink. But he's like, y'all, he gripping the goddamn drink. So I'm like looking at her, I'm like, yo, like, what is you doing? Like, that's my drink. Bestie like, like they tug of war with the drink, y'all. And I'm just like, bro, like, this is so weird. Finally, he just like let go of the drink. My bestie like ganked the drink. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's so weird. Like, I don't know if he was trying to, like, take my drink on some broke nigga shit. Or if he was trying to, like, put something in my shit on some weird dude stuff. You know what I mean? So, I'm just like, I don't even want the drink. Like, bro, that's weird. Like, I really should have just threw the drink on him because weird as hell like what i'm telling y'all like he was gripping that goddamn drink like his life depended on it like he was really like pulling the drink but like dancing with the girl but holding on to the drink like sir what are you doing like you're weird as hell so yeah boom after that like um we just dancing in a club like y'all was on all the bitches in the club i swear i'm not gay y'all but i be getting it bitch so yeah like it's this light-skinned girl eyeing me down fine as hell like she got tat she had like this blue flower on her neck i like oh girl don't do that don't look at me like that because girl girl i'll take you down but anyways y'all so we turning up i mean we turn it up like we're hella dancing so bestie doing her uh, you uh, she working shit like she going crazy the dude that um the dude that got the section it was his birthday now hold on to that hold on to the birthday man right so we in the club we turning up so come to find out right the friend that came with me and mina right he knew the guy that came up to me saying he know me they realized like oh we friends we cool we know each other so boom now we over there in a section we all like turning up because we like okay you know everybody kind of like a mutual somehow so we just turning up with them in a section so the birthday dude whose section it was so okay so it was this mexican dude trying to like pop it and, I, I, SD, and he wasn't really on that or L. It's a lot going on there. Read right between the lines. I can't say too much, but you. Ah. So the birthday dude was like, "Bro, you don't know what you doing." So he come through like spitting that. Uh, you ill, you bestie in here dancing. Ah, ah, ah. You ill, we all up in there turning up. When I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all, we danced that whole night. We danced that whole night, y'all. We danced from 9 p.m. 
to like 1 a.m. We was really working that mug. We was really going crazy, having a blast. So I'm dancing with the dude who told me he know me because he's like, you my bae. You finna be my bae this time. I'm not finna let... Like this nigga just holding on like this to me the whole night in the club. And I'm like, bro, let me go. Like, calm down. Like, chill out. So at some point, the dude who knew me was like, you know that's your uncle, right? The birthday dude. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? My uncle? <laughs> like, this nigga look my age. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm like, what? He like, this your uncle? I don't know. Your uncle Green. And I'm like, I do got an uncle Green. And I ain't really seen him in hella long, you know. I got so many uncles and cousins, y'all. Like I told you, I got my mama got 36 brothers and sisters, and all of them got kids. And it's just it's just a lot of family members. Like I can't keep track. Like I only were I only can spot like main family that I was around a lot if I seen them in public. I'm in a club, I'm on cloud 60,000. I'm not noticing that like this is one of my young uncles or whatever. So he like, yeah, that's your uncle. Wooty wooty whoop. He say my last name. I'm not gonna say my mama's last name because it's too much. He like, yeah, you a blankety blank blank. And I'm like, yeah, he like, yeah, that's your uncle. So I'm like, I look up at him. I'm like, swear to God. Mind you, I'm up in here been working his friends all night and shit. And I'm <laughs> How embarrassing. So I'm like, bro, why you didn't tell me? Like, you knew this stuff. That you knew this as soon as you saw me. He was like, yeah, I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't want you to feel weird. And I was like, mind you, we around the same age. So it's not like an older uncle or whatever. So I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. Mind you, the dude who know me would not let that go. He like, wow, that's your uncle, though. That's your uncle, though. And I'm like, bro, chill out. Like, you doing too much. So, y'all, at some point in the club, right, we standing there, we vibing, and he seen the guy that knew me that was, like, trying to say I was going to be his girlfriend. He seen some girl I think he knew or he was trying to, like, pop out or whatever, and, like, she, like, mugged him down, her and the girl she was with. So, I don't, um, like, shortly after that, me and Bestie had went to the bathroom, and we had seen the girls in the bathroom, and, y'all, they was all up on me. Like, they was fine, too. Oh, my God. So... Bestie was like, um, uh, why y'all was bugging? Oh boy. And she was like, girl, I'm a lesbian. And we like, oh, she like, yeah, this is my girlfriend. Like he disrespectful trying to pop at me or trying to dance with me or something. And I'm here with my girlfriend or something like that. So I'm like, what? Swear y'all. I'm like flirting with them and stuff. We talking to them. They was so pretty. Y'all, they grabbing my boobs. I'm grabbing their boobs. Like it's just so much was going on. I'm just like, oh, I'm so gay. And I'm not even gay. Like, oh my God, I need to go home. It's crazy in here. So we just chopping it up with them. I should have got their Instagrams or their number. They was some them could be my girlfriends. They was so pretty and so nice. And I hope I see them again this weekend. Um so yeah, we come out the bathroom and um my uncle was like, I'm about to buy everybody some some shots or whatever. So we all go over to the bar and he buying us shots and like me and the dude who know me, we gonna call him LG. So me and LG, we just singing and dancing all in each other faces, talking shit to each other. Yo, why am I dumb ass so clumsy, y'all? I actually, I'm talking to him. I'm like, you hella fake. And I like, we're like this, y'all dropped his whole drink all over him. Like it wasn't that bad, but it did get like on his like jeans and like his uh, like shoes a little bit. And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like grabbing that, it's out of better than that. I'm like, see, you done got me fired up in the club. I'm drunk, I'm clumsy. Like, I'm like, here, you can have my drink. You can have my drink. He like, nah, you good, you good, you good. So yeah, anyways, we back, we turn it up, we dancing. I mean, we really was in there. I'm working. Y'all, my legs are just now just now healing it feel like i was in the gym for 10 hours the next day like we really in there like ah, 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 ah. Bow, 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 bow. 
really working stuff. Like, really it was going so crazy. We, we just on one. Oh, girl with the blue neck tag, she grabbed me. And I'm like, I'm working her. Oh my God, that girl was so goddamn fine. I did follow her. I did get her Instagram. And I followed her. She's so damn fine. She be like, I like, girl. You trying to hang out? <laughs> so I'm like dancing with her and shit. We like vibing and shit. We kissing in the club. I'm like, oh, it's too much. This too tease, too tease, too little here. Like, I got me a nigga and I got me a bitch in the club. Like, come on now. Like, I'm winning. So after I'm done dancing with her, Mind y'all, the girl was with some dude, fine dude too, I ain't going, yeah. So I'm asking her because like y'all, I'm telling y'all, me and this girl was all in each other's face. Mind you, I mentioned her earlier, y'all, she was staring me down like an eagle. I mean, like lock eyes. Like when I noticed her staring at me, y'all, she ain't blink. Like she was looking me dead in my eyes. Like, girl, I want you. I will eat you up like a bowl of soup. So yeah, after I'm done dancing with her, and we talking or whatever i'm like oh who who's the guy you with like is this your boyfriend because now i'm like hold on wait a minute hold on wait a minute uh, you feel me uh, what y'all got going on because y'all believe it or not i get approached by women a lot i get approached by women more than men and sometimes i be getting approached by men or women that's in relationships that want to do you know the <laughs> the three-way with me i don't know what gives off three-way with me y'all i don't know so she just like oh that's my friend and y'all know i know what a friend mean because y'all know i got friend friend and i know what that mean because me and friend friend been out in the club with each other i know what that mean okay so i'm just like uh okay but he like looking at me too and he was trying to dance with me too but i was like nah like i'm cool like you yeah, feel me like mm -mm. so yeah giving her my like instagram or whatever i go back to lg and he's sitting on the section couch just like mm -hmm, mm. i like boy chill so i go like sit up there with him and we just like okay no feeling up there or whatever and um some dude trying to like talk to me he like nah bro nah bro she with me she with me this my little baby this is my little baby i'm like it's kind of cute it's kind of sad like hello like y'all what i tell you it's so lit just so much stuff was happening it was just so much stuff happening Whew. But yeah, we having a time. Mind you, the dudes was about to tussle over my bestie. When I tell you, I can't even go too much into it. But they was about to tussle. Like, when I tell you, oh, y'all, I can't even give all that tea out. But just know, like, they was about to tussle over bestie up in there. It was about to be a couple tussles over me, over bestie. Just so much was going on at this club. <sighs> So finally, we was just like, all right, like, we tired. Like, let's go and get up out of here. So, um, I made, oh, my uncle lost his damn phone. We're trying to find his phone. He can't find his phone. We're trying to call him. His phone, look for his phone, phone gone. We don't, he don't know where he left or dropped the phone. He was just so, like, on. Um, so... Yeah, me, Bestie, and our friend, we left. We go get in my car. We blow down the house. He had brought some chips when he got in my car. We, like, smacking down on the chips, blowing down the house with a car, just talking, chilling, vibing, or whatever. And then he got back in his car, me and my Bestie. Uh, we head back. So I drop my Bestie off. I get home, and LG call me. I'm on the phone with LG and my uncle and all they friends while they turning up at uh LG house like all night. Like I woke up and I was still on the phone with them. Then they was knocked out. I had to hang up. Like, but we was hella having a vibe on FaceTime or whatever. Like they was over there turning up. It was like, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, I don't got no drinks. They're like, ah, we gotta take a shot for Shayla. She ain't got no drink. Like I was just so turned up with them. Like we was having a vibe. Like, dang. I kind of ghosted him. I should hit him up. I've been ghosting a lot of people, but I don't know, y'all. I'm just so, like, detached from people. Like, I don't even attach to people. Like, 
I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing. Like, just going through all the fuck I went through with my ex has just made me, like, I don't attach to people. Like, I can like a dude and then he'd be like, ooh, cute butterflies for a couple days. And then I'd be like, eh. And they didn't do nothing wrong. The vibes is there. It's like nothing. It's just be like, eh. Mm. But yeah, we had hella fun. Like, I was literally on the phone with them to, like, I think I woke up at, like, five in the morning. No, I, cause we got back, I got back home at like, like 2 a.m. Cause we, I think we left at like 1. Yeah, we left at like 1. I got home around 2. I stayed on the phone with them. I woke up around like 5, 6. I'm still on the phone with them. I don't know at what point I fell asleep. But it was a late night. It was a real situation. If anything, if I left anything out, I'm gonna do a voiceover, but. I was very intoxicated this whole weekend, so I could have forgot something. So if I did forget something, I'm pretty sure I did a voiceover. Plus, y'all, I will see the vlog of as much footage as I have. Now, my bestie got footage, but I can't put the footage she got. I can't put the footage. The footage bestie got is incriminated. <laughs> It's too much tea in the footage by Bestie guy. Like, it's too much tea, so I can't even... I ain't even gonna ask her to send that to me. But I do got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna throw in the vlog for y'all. I don't know if y'all seen the vlog already or if y'all seen it after this, but... Um, but yeah, y'all, a time was had, like... Oh, my God. Like, ooh-wee. A time was had, hunty. And it's Labor Day weekend, y'all. And I'm about to be outside this weekend. Y'all just don't know. I'm just so excited. I'm going to another day party. I might go out Friday, but I know for sure we're going to this party on Sunday. Y'all, it's about to be a movie. It's about to be a movie at this day party. Like, this is about to be the end of the summer shebang in the bay. Like, this day party about to go so nuts. And I'm going to vlog it all so y'all can see how crazy it's about to be it's about to be so lit i'm so excited i'm aware because you know they canceled the sexy red concert here in the bay area so that outfit i was gonna wear i'm wearing that to the day party i think either that or something else but i think i'm gonna wear that with the cute little pink skirt and that little cute black and pink um uh, top and then i found some like cute little sandals because i'm not wearing no wedges to no day party out here out here in the bay we don't they don't be all dressed up in heels at the parties y'all some clubs maybe but not really like girls being they i mean they might throw some wedgies on but really like sneakers and sandals is what you're gonna see out here on the girls but i'm so excited to go out and then i'm gonna sit down in the house i'm not going no more out after labor day but we finna turn up like we about to turn up so hard and y'all out here like in oakland where we going to the day party like it be dudes on their bikes and stuff on their four wheelers and on their bikes y'all i'm trying to get on my nigga bike on that bike i'm trying to get on the bike of the bike you so hopefully I do. And if I do, I hope I get some footage. If y'all should see in the little vlog, I'm a post of it. And if any tea happen, I'll do a story time. But if not, I'll do a vlog, uh, you know, that day or whatever. Outside is so fun. It's so fun. Like, it's so fun. <laughs> But let me go, y'all. I'm a vibe. You a vibe. We should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to. 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 If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra. And if you do, so I greatly appreciate it. If you want the extra juicy tea, go ahead and click that link in the bio. I mean, in the description. Because this story time on the membership is so juicy. I'm going to be telling y'all about the time I had a threesome and it went left. And I almost had to fight the bitch. So if y'all want to hear how that went. And it's very recent. <laughs> Clock that tea. Bye.